Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create slice manipulation effect in Affinity Photo. You can apply this effect to a living object or inanimate object. Here is a preview of what we're going to create today. Looks cool, right? So I'm using this photo as an example. I will put the link in the description so you can download it as well. Or you can just use any photo that you like. Okay, so without any further ado, let's get started. First, open up Affinity Photo and import your photo. Okay, so I start in row. So I will do some adjustment to make the object looks brighter. Okay, we're only gonna use the object, so we need to remove the background. Or if you want to use the background, you need to separate the object and the background layers into two layers. And fill the blank area in the background layer using Inpainting tool. But sometimes we cannot fill the blank area if the photo you took has a complex background. So there's a solution for this. Okay, when you take the photo, make sure you take two photos. The first photo without the object in the photo. And the second photo with the object in the photo. Like this. Okay, let's remove the background using selection tool. Okay, after you have selected the object, click mask layer to remove the background and duplicate this layer. Okay, so this is for backup. Okay, I need to fix the hair first. Okay, so we don't need the mask layer anymore. So right click on it, click release mask, and then merge style to the object layer. I'm just gonna merge this together. Next, we need to divide the body part. So I'm gonna split the head part okay, into two parts. You can split it into a few parts if you want. Okay, using ellipse tool or pen tool. Okay, if you are applying this effect to a living object, you have to use ellipse tool. Okay, so the inside part looks circle. Okay. If you apply this effect to an inanimate object, you can use rectangle or ellipse tool. So make a narrow circle. Make sure the edges of the circle is on the edges of the object. Then hold control button and click on the ellipse layer to select it and use selection tool. Make sure the mode is at to select the upper head part.
then press Ctrl X to cut and Ctrl V to pass. Okay, now we have split the head part into two parts. Okay, so I'm gonna move it up here. So it looks like I'm holding the head like this. And the circle is the inside part. So align it together. Okay, so basically it's done. The next step is you need to make this looks real. Okay, so you can apply anything like shadow or anything. Okay, so I'm gonna fix this first. You can also put something. You can also put anything inside the body part. Let's try to put C. Just drag it inside the ellipse layer like this, and move the layer inside. Okay, so now it looks like the inside part of my body is C. Yeah, you can add anything like flesh, fruits, or cake. Oh yeah, I forgot to make a background, so let's make simple color background. You can also add gradient overlay and uh, exposure okay so this is the final result so that's it for today i hope you enjoy and learn something new from this video hit that like button if you like this video don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next video.